Wibta if I break off my engagement because of his new views about women. My F28 fiance, M34, and I used to have a great relationship, but for the last year, his political views have become a problem. I mostly bit my tongue about it, but it came to a head when he accused a woman at his job of lying about her sexual assault. I pointed out that when a woman accuses a man of rape, he questions it and says she is lying. He justified that by saying it's stupid to believe an accusation like that with no proof. I pointed out that he has no proof that she's lying either, but he's accusing her anyway. He often sends me articles of women, usually teachers, sexually abusing boys. I brought up that he never says the boys are lying or asks for proof. He got very upset and kept repeating that I was trivializing male sexual abuse. I don't feel like I was. I feel that I was just pointing out the hypocrisy. He denied being biased against female accusers. I reminded him that when the allegations against Diddy first happened, he said, feminists were just trying to ruin a successful man's life. Unsurprisingly, he never brought up the man who accused Diddy of sexual assault. He defended Diddy up until the video of him physically assaulting Cassie was leaked. Even then, he said, we didn't know the whole story. The final straw was when he was telling me, yet again, how women are actually worse than men because we are sneaky and conniving and at least men will fuck you over to your face. He kept saying that women are far worse people than men and I just lost it. I said that there was nowhere on earth, not now or ever in recorded history, has the female violent crime rate been higher than the males. I told him that men kill each other even more than they kill us, so they are a bigger danger to themselves than some girl being sneaky. I said that blaming women for unfair legislation, like conscription, makes no sense when men make up the majority of the US government, and most, if not all, other governments. He was absolutely furious about all this. He didn't argue with me, per se. He just told me that I was brainwashed by the feminist agenda and that feminism lied to me and convinced me I was special. I still don't know where that comment came from. It was not relevant to anything. I admittedly was very pissed off and said, well, maybe patriarchy lied to you about this relationship being special. I threw my ring at the table, left the house, and haven't spoken to him since. Today, he sent me a long text stating how I belittled him with that comment and that I would be a good wife if I could just stop needing to be right all the time. I haven't responded and I'm conflicted about if I will at all. I feel bad about throwing he ring. I really feel bad that I hurt his feelings by saying our relationship isn't special. But still, to be honest, I'm seriously questioning if I really want to marry him. He has always been argumentative, not just with me, with everyone. Normally, I just ignore it, but he was so egregious with his hypocritical BS. I shouldn't have taken the bait, and I don't feel like men are generally bad. I was speaking out of anger. I don't consider myself to be a super political person. I'm not even sure if I count as a feminist. He just has a new complaint about women every freaking day at this point. It's so frustrating. IDK when he became this way, but it sucks. There are still things I love about him, but the things he has been saying may be more than I can forgive. Despite all that, I'm still responsible for my intense outburst because I ignored his constant woman bashing in an effort to keep the peace. I exploded when I could have just spoken up from the start. Maybe if I'd nipped it in the bud right at the start, it could have been better. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Ata? update. Hi, again. I'm surprised and overwhelmed by the response my post got. Thanks to everyone who read through all that. And thanks to anyone who reads through all this too. After I left, I went to a hotel. He kept contacting me to ask when I was coming home. I told him I needed time to think and turned off my phone. When I turned it back on, I saw his photo on my lock screen and decided to call him for reasons that will make sense later. He said he wanted to talk face to face and I agreed, so I went home. He apologized for implying that I'm not special. I apologized for implying our relationship isn't special. We've been together for 12 years, so saying that was 
hurtful, and untrue. Before anyone compares the harshness of our statements, his wrongs don't justify my own and vice versa. Disclaimer, this post isn't about the validity or ethics of gender roles. This is strictly an account of what happened with no wider social commentary from me. We discussed what we wanted for the future. He wants a traditional marriage and specified the following. I would quit my job and we'd start trying for a baby right after the wedding. I'd be a SAHM until the kids are old enough for primary school and we'd raise them as Christians. He wants to protect and provide for our family and I would be submissive. He assured me that I could still disagree with him and have a say, but he wants to ultimately have the final say in most things. He asked if I understood what he wanted and I said yes. When he asked me if I still wanted to get married, I told him that I didn't. He has the right to change his mind, but it's not the arrangement we agreed to when he proposed. This post is long enough, so I won't detail how he got into this gender essentialism stuff or why I don't want the type of relationship he's asking for. Suffice to say, we are no longer compatible. He wants to do a trial run of his preferred setup so I can see that it's for the best. I told him that we had a very successful trial run of not doing that for 10 years until he decided to switch things up a few years ago. He was unfazed by this, so about the lock screen, he has a small snaggle tooth toward the back that he's always been shy about, so he never fully smiles in public. That photo is one of very few pictures where he is showing his real smile and it's beautiful. Seeing that photo used to make me so happy. When I saw it this morning, I just felt sad. I know it sounds dramatic, but it feels like he died and was replaced by some kind of red-pilled pod person. When he asked me if I still loved him at all, I told him that I will always love him, but I'm not in love with him anymore. I get that many people had strong feelings about the things he said, and he definitely crossed the line several times, but this is still so hard for me to do. He's the only man I've ever been with and my best friend. I'm relieved that it's over, but still sad about how it ended. I accept that he's a different person now, but it's hard not to think of what could have been.